My name is Juan Carrillo, and I'll be presenting research on breeding Spanish peanuts for organic production in West Texas. Organic peanut production is centered in West Texas, with estimates indicating as much as 98% of all organic peanuts in the U.S. are produced in this region. Organic farmers have limited options for controlling several key production issues. Without the ability to apply fungicides and herbicides during planting and throughout the season is a major factor in how the organic peanuts are managed. Without commercial seed treatments, organic production often results in poor germination and stand establishment. The peanut breeding program at Texas A&M AgriLife is evaluating current germplasms in a farm trial in Terry County, Texas. 20 breeding lines and cultivars were evaluated with each entry being replicated three times without the commercial seed treatment. Plots were planted on 5, 15, 20 in a randomized block design in 1 meter by 3 meter plots. Stand counts were taken at 7, 14, 21, and 28 days. 16 advanced breeding lines and commercial checks were evaluated in 2020. Analysis of variance and Fisher's least significance difference tests were conducted. Data analysis is ongoing, however, plant height is presented. Analysis of variance was highly significant with a p-value of less than 0 0.0130. Fisher's least significant difference showed cultivar 221-34 to have the tallest plant height at 49.3 centimeters, and cultivar 4932 being the shortest with a height of 34.7 centimeters. Excessive plant height can be a major issue in digging and is less desirable since it will cause the plants to not properly invert, leading to loss of harvest. Additionally, significant differences were observed on damaged kernel percentages. Damaged kernels can be used as a disease indicator. In this instance, heavy pot rot pressure occurred on the 2020 test site and significant differences in damaged kernels were observed. 4932 had the lowest numerical percentage of damaged kernels at 1.9%, which was statistically better than the commercial check Olin, which was at 8.7%. 4932 was not numerically or statistically at the top of the test. Its low damage kernel percentage makes it an excellent candidate to improve disease resistance in organic peanuts. Multiple factors were evaluated in the West Texas for 2020. 4932 showed significantly lower pod rot disease. We will use it and other top performing lines to establish a breeding program focused on the needs of organic producers. Tests will be repeated in 2021 in West Texas.